let's find the greatest common factor for 12 and 30. And when we're talking about the greatest common factor, you also see it's called the greatest common divisor and the highest common factor. But let's go with greatest common factor. That's how I learned it. These are all the same thing. So what we're trying to do is find a number, a whole number that goes into both 12 and 30. And we're looking for that factor, the greatest factor, the greatest whole number that goes into 12 and 30. So let's write the factors for 12 and then 30. So these are the factors for 12 and then for 30. We want the greatest common factor. So I see one, that's a common factor, but two, two's also a common factor. Then we have three, that's a common factor, but the greatest common factor, the factor we find on both sides for 12 and 30, that's gonna be six. So the greatest common factor for 12 and 30 is six. There are a number of different ways to find the greatest common factor for 12 and 30. Either way you do it, you're gonna end up with six as your answer. This is Dr. B, thanks for watching.